Think cholesterol is all there is to understanding your risk of heart disease? Turns out there is more to the story. Hi, I'm Dr. Simi Lee, a cardiologist focusing on the intersection between weight and heart health. After my last post on key lab tests for heart health, many of you asked, well, what else should I be checking? So let's dive in. First up is C-reactive protein or CRP. It's a marker of inflammation which has been directly linked to the risk of cholesterol plaque buildup and heart events. Normal levels are less than one milligram per liter, but higher values mean higher risks. Next, lipoprotein little a or LP little a. For a deep dive on this, check out my full video on my page. Remember, LP little a is a sticky, tricky lipid that looks a lot like LDL cholesterol, the bad kind, and can add to plaque in your arteries, boosting your risk of heart disease significantly. High levels of LP little a also tend to run in families and can explain a family history of heart disease. Now let's shift gears and talk about apolipoprotein B or ApoB. Every LDL particle which carries bad cholesterol contains one ApoB molecule. It's like a fingerprint for atherogenic particles. From what we know so far, it seems that high ApoB levels might actually be a better predictor of cardiovascular risk than LDL cholesterol alone, especially in assessing response to treatment. Finally, triglycerides. Triglycerides are fat-like substances in the blood. While lowering LDL cholesterol is vital, high triglycerides are linked to risky small dense LDL particles that traditional blood tests might miss. When triglycerides are persistently greater than 175 milligrams per deciliter, we really start to worry about heart disease risk. These tests we just covered today are not just numbers. They help us see beyond the basics to your true risk of heart disease. According to the latest guidelines from the American Heart Association, understanding these markers can be especially important for those of you who don't clearly fit into the usual risk categories or who are at borderline or intermediate risk. These tests also help us tailor our approach to your cholesterol management, ensuring we address your specific and holistic needs. Curious about these markers and how they might change your approach to heart health? DM me to explore how my team at Sicily and I can help. And don't forget to follow to keep learning about heart health.